Hey everybody, Rodman here for episode 23 of the Naked Brutality. Uh, last episode, we finally got everyone back together after a long time of being away out of the base. Um, we had some, some kind of bad things happen and the whatnot, but I think we're good now, uh, finally. We are back to fighting form with everyone able to uh, tribute. They're all alive because we had some close calls there. Um, so there's a few things I want to do. One is to replace all the crummy clothing that everyone's wearing. Um, okay, first off, don't use cloth. And research obviously everything because we're going to blast off this little rock. Uh, I want to have Kartha w basically be as high-tech as possible, uh, so more than he is now, that is to say. Um, revenge. I think we're fine on that front. Lockhart, you're, you're supposed to, like, haul them after you shoot them. Not just keep shooting until everything's dead. Uh, so we have a nice, plushy abundance of Luciferium for uh, Lockhart. Um, and we just... We are working on replacing all of the tattered clothing. Uh, so speaking of which, we have some forced clothing here we can, we can work out. So we're making some backup clothing. Then we need to make a lot of uh, components and stuff for the ship. Obviously, that is a big next step. Um, we can maybe... Who could do it? Lucky? And when he's not cooking, we'll have Lucky break down slag. And I suppose to uh, accelerate the process. <laughs> All right, stone cutter table doesn't benefit from the tool benches, really? No, they do. You just don't see the lines. The smelter doesn't, though. Alright, so Mr. Schmelta is going to... I want it to be indoors. Uh, so let's reinstall this stuff. Our backup batteries. Um, nope. Cancel that. Destroy that. Power. Switch. Let's... Um, pod. And roof. I really don't need roofs over the year. Um, okay, so let's reinstall this. All this will make sense soon. I I don't actually promise that. Um, so we'll have three backup batteries. Instead of making a duster, let's just do this stuff real quick. We're finally getting steel from the deep drill, which is cool. Alright, so because the smelter doesn't benefit from... Um, terrain can't... Oh god, it's all a bridge. Bridges everywhere! Spring has begun. So I need to find a place to build a spaceship too. One that is um, nice and flat. Let's see. This space here, I just made a hand gesture. I feel really dumb. I was like, this space, and then I pointed it out with my hands. Uh, this space here might be the best area to do it. It's flat. 
not marsh. All right. Is this bridge or not bridge? It's not bridge. Good. All this will make sense, I promise. All right. Um, let's reinstall. Wait, you went back to sleep? Okay. Lucky, do you construct ever? Yes, you do. Okay, move that out of the way. Reinstall that there. And reinstall this here. So I'm trying to just put the smelter closer to the um, um, closer to the door so that you can smelt the, the, the stuff fast. So that looks good. My kill box, you can finally see it again. Or the um, terrain that it will become. Alright, uh, one question that I have is the work speed. Alright, so it has a lower move speed for the power armor. I think what I'll do is I will switch him back to no parka. Oh, that was the nudist. No parka. I'm surprised no one's been trying to woo Kitty here. As she is, um, I believe she's beautiful. Yeah, she's beautiful. And like, no one's even bothered to attempt. I think part of the problem is she's never around others. She's always doing her own thing. Off in some corner building or something. Kartha, do you not even have a shirt for yourself? Let's go ahead. A few more clothing. Can't hurt. We can put the power conduit back. This is just me being sort of unnecessarily thorough. Alright, so there's actually a few people without shirts. So let's actually queue up a few extra. Because I see that Wally's not wearing a shirt. Karth is not wearing a shirt. Now there's actually a few extra shirts here, and they still haven't put them on. So Wally's busy, busy drilling, and Karth is busy tailoring them. But he won't himself wear one. Alright, AI persuasion. Uh, persuading an AI core to steer. Cool. Alright, we're done with the button-down shirts. Okay, so we're making advanced components, but we need to haul steel. We basically just need more steel in the base. But that's exactly what Lucky is doing here. So when you do it, just drop it. So once we're done with cooking, Lucky starts to slag, which is cool. Wally is on the deep drill, but I think what I'm going to do is power this off because I'm fairly certain, I could be wrong, but I'm fairly certain it's actually just quicker to mine traditionally. And there's still steel out here, so I'm going to do just that is mine everything I possibly can out of the terrain. Because uh, I just think it's faster and more efficient, even though I have to run for it. He's got a prosthetic leg, so he'll get there. He'll get there within a reasonable amount of time. There aren't a lot of nodes left. Oh, there's a hidden one here, though. Somewhat hidden. Obviously, I could see it, but easy to miss. Uh, alright. <clears throat> Looking good so far. All this power shite is a nice amount of steel that we could reclaim. So 
obviously it's pretty redundant at this point. Same here. Pirate merchant. I'm not sure what I would have for a pirate merchant. But I'll check. They'll buy my Luciferium, I know that much. Maybe they'll buy some of the melee weapons. I have a lot of crappy melee weapons. Uh, Alright, let's check. You'll buy that. Buy a little of that. Buy the bolts. I'll keep the excellent one, though. It's the revolver. Sell the flak stuff. I don't really like the flak stuff, if I'm being honest. And you have nothing I want to buy. Although I gotta say, if I needed Luciferium, they surely have a lot. Uh, I'll just buy your way overpriced components. Because I'm a sucker. Basically. Alright, so if I want to fulfill my dream of being fully bionic, I need, what, a stomach, another eye, and two ears? Do I need a heart? I don't think I need a heart. The other one needs a heart. Uh, so I have a spare heart for Lockheart. Yes, operations. Let's give him Glitter World and install heart. So I need another eye. I need a stomach. I need two ears and a spine. Right, I don't need a rifle or a lance. I got my legs. Yep, so that's what's left to become the giant soldier that I want to be. The behemoth. Well, now that I have a bionic heart on him, his uh, blood pumping infiltration is going to be pretty strong. Which is pretty cool. Bulk goods. Cool. Maybe they'll have some um, something useful. So I can hear them, yeah, cracking away over here. Where is Tachi on all this? Oh, he's growing. Um... Prioritize plant cut. And exotic goods. Nice. Um, who's gonna trade? You are. First off, let's see these bulk people. We have a lot of extra meat that we can sell. So there it is. Buy some chocolate. Couldn't hurt. Um, berries, goodbye. Components, always, always purchase. It's a motto I've had for a long, long time. Um, some random leathers that we don't have a lot of. We can sell. I'm going to buy steel, just because we're really low on it. And then I'm going to start selling the um, sort of low quality or rundown clothing. Because we don't need it. And that applies to hats and toques sometimes. Sometimes, not always. Um. Sell my bedroll. Okay. Well, we are making a profit off of them. Um, let's sell some of the rhino meat. And that's perfect. Perfect amount. Maximum profit. Alright, and then we have the exotic goods folks. So let's haul this silver in. Where we want, where we can trade for it. Alright, silver's in place, and then trade with the exotic folks that are in orbit. Um, and you will buy... Crafting train, I don't need to be a better crafter. Uh, I don't need a... I could just buy the... Yeah, I'll buy the spine and not craft one. 
Um, sell all my gold, because I have a lot of it. And that works. I guess there wasn't... There was, oh, oh, components and advanced components. I don't even care. Oh, that's really overpriced, actually. Done. All right. So bills make zero spine. Oh, nope, that's not it. Zero spine. And I'm going to craft all this stuff up, and then uh, I'm going to install it all at once. Just a wholesale install. Um, one thing I'm going to do is... Whoa! I crashed. Um, okay, that's been happening a bit lately, so bear with me. I'm going to launch back up and just pick up where I left off. Um, once RimWorld is done updating or whatever it's doing. Okay, here we go. You should see it back up and running in just a moment. However embarrassing. Yes, there we are. Loading my game up. And I'll have to load the world again, but you know, that's fine. All right, so I probably just lost progress. Hopefully, the trading ships are still viable. So one thing I was going to do here in body parts is only allow artificial. So who's in orbit? Only the pirate merchant now? Okay. But I've already traded with them, it looks like. But I'm going to sell off my gold. But we'll see if we get offered the other stuff. If we don't, we'll just end up crafting the spine. Um, so we have to probably queue that stuff up, right? Yes. One eye, a stomach, two ears, and a spine. That's a bummer. Bard surgery. Fortunately, I don't exactly have a need for surgery at the moment. Plus, Karth is the only one that needs the surgery, and he's the one that's inspired, so that's not helpful at all. Bandit camp. For a teeny teeny little bit of gold. Oh, we have to load the world. I don't even know why I looked. We're trying to blast off now. Um, Bandit Camp really doesn't push us towards that goal. We want more bionics and to blast off. Tachi, you're, uh, alright, let's forget the hauling for now. I'm going to zoom out and not worry about the slag. That was more of a concern when I was living on an ice sheet and the slag was so unbelievably visible and such a eyesore. But now that I'm not on an ice sheet, it's, uh, it's easy to overlook some, some slag. So Wally, I think it's faster to not deep drill. I'm almost certain of it, um, or I am certain of it, uh, providing the com commute isn't ridiculous. So I'm having him mine a bunch of steel out there because we're pretty low on steel in the base. So um, we have an eye, we have a heart. Okay, right. We were gonna put Lockhart heart in again, I guess. So let's go ahead and do that. Install the heart. I guess we're already inspired surgery, so we might as well, you know, use it. Um, 
they're not in orbit anymore. Uh, let's call in an exotic goods people. Trade caravan of exotics. Cool. Does that cost us anything? It cost us a little bit of a relationship. Which is funny. I don't know why it would. Honestly. Doesn't really make that much sense because it's like... We're trading with each other. I'm not you're taking your stuff. I don't see why you'd be mad. Alright. Let's go ahead and deconstruct this. This should be a little bit of steel. I wonder if it disappears because it's on the water. Probably not. Nice. Alright, we got the stomach. Uh, I forget who it was, but one of you mentioned that maybe... Oh, trapped underground. Well, whatever. So Lockhart here now has... Um, really good blood filtration and all that. So his, his immunity gain is pretty good at this point. So now we're making an ear. So what we'll have left is an ear and a spine. And we'll have to craft up some components. I think it is three components for an ear and four for a spine. So we'll have seven more advanced components. Why haven't we broken this down? Tachi, 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 tachi. Oh, I know why. Um, hold on. Let's go plant cut. Cut plants. Whatever, it's the same thing to me. Tachi will do this a lot faster than they will. He's like a plant cutting robot. Do you sleep? He is just so excited to have bionic parts, he is just forging ahead with no sleep, no eating. Gotta remind him, hey, you're not a robot yet. You're not a full cyborg, you're just cybernetic. Alright, so we're trying to get um, the Starflight sensors done and the Johnson Tanaka drive done, and then we'll get the Starship reactor for free with our tech professor. So we'll get the really lengthy research for free, which is worth the wait. Got some chem fuel. So Lockhart, you are Huh. Hunter. Not cleaner anymore. I guess I'll make you hauling. More than anything else, because he's really, really fast. Who's got mild pain? Tachi? Oh, he's got mechanites. Yeah, that's right. Alright, so here's the ear, and then it's just the spine left. So, four advanced components and a spine. And then I think I'll be... Other than some Archo parts that I haven't been offered, um, I'll be basically as cybernetic as I can be. Never, ever, ever do this. <laughs> I'm doing this because I'm weird. Not because it was smart. I mean, for that matter, probably don't bother, you know, creating a, a head-to-toe cybernetic demon. Uh, especially when you don't have any serum left. Because without resurrector serum... It doesn't take much to take this 
gazillion dollar investment down. His market value is actually not that big. I'm surprised, truth be told. And we have a poison ship. Okay, I'm just going to deal with the poison ship now. Um, let's see, Lockhart. Who is the Sniper Rifles? Maker has one. Drop. And Wally has the other. Drop. Alright, so... Lockhart will get one. And Kartha... We'll get the other. Well, you really... When I said drop it... You were nowhere near, nowhere near the base. guess I could have planned that a little bit better. Uh, so, let's see. Let's haul this back. So I'm just going to have the two fastest, best shooters just take pot shots at it. Rather than to waste everyone's time. So Wally, you need a gun. Karthus bringing it in. Maker, you need a gun. There you go. Wally, there you go. We'll just leave the excellent uh, assault rifle there. Alright, so Carther, Lockhart, I got a task for you. It's over here. It involves blowing up a ship and its inhabitants. Alright, so pretty short range weapons here. Not so much the Lancer, but the other guys. Lancer's the danger one. Not when I cut off a foot. Haha. -ha. I might get everyone involved just to shred it. Oh, well, that was quick. Uh, Kaelin, I want you out here too. You have the charged Lancer thingy. Not quite the range of a sniper rifle, but I think it's a little bit stronger against these mechs. As I say that, it bounces off. Alright, you're in range. Back up. Ow, you took way too many hits. Go tend to yourself. That was short-lived. I thought she'd help, but honestly not. Alright, let's kill one at a time. What is this, Inferno? I find Inferno's a lot more annoying than um, miniguns. Miniguns could be more fatal, hypothetically, but Inferno's just... It's a pain. Alright, tending to yourself. Come on. Uh, he's just a leg. Ranks to a warg, that's funny. Don't wake up, warg. Man, she's really bleeding. Alright, getting close. You know what I could do is I could try to lure them to the kill box. But at this point, uh, this one's already half dead. This is not bouncing off. There we go. It's too bad I can't just like drill a shot into its brain and just be done with it. south. Oh, 
I could lure it towards here. Wouldn't be a terrible idea. I've already plugged one of them in. Just got to stay ahead of it. No shooting for you. Wow, that's a lot of shots. Medical emergency. Lockhart. Oh, you need your Lucy. All right, go take some. I want to get rid of the Inferno guy before I draw the minigunner over. But the Inferno guy is almost dead. Not much more work to be done there. centipede had a lot of health left and I just crushed it because I shot a bullet through its brain. Alright, well that's not what I wanted. But that's what I got. It's a stupid base on fire. But I'll take that thing out soon enough. Crushed. All right, and it was a psychic ship, poison ship, poison ship. Um. All right, let's put this fire out, and I'll address the poison ship when someone wakes up. It's not of immediate concern. I wonder, firefighting. Is there a fire? And I guess there's the general work, global work speed. It's low right now because it's dark. There we go, more hands. Short work of that. Exotic goods finally here. Um, excuse me. Still a fire. I'm gonna have the one with the gun that does a good job. Oh, you know what? Mm. You're gonna need to trade. So who's got the assault rifles now? Lan and Kitty. All right. You two. Report for duty. Where's this trade convoy? Uh, they're taking their sweet time. Okay, we're done. Let's bring home some of the goodies. Barrels. Oh, and let's repair. Nice. So these are fully operational. I like the work they're doing. Okay, so we had this other trade thing going. Who's the trader? There they are. I have no idea what Kaelin was doing, but it seems like she was far away. Might have wanted to check that. Alright, Little World, I can sell you... You know what? She's injured. Let's go with a better trader. They were... The AI tip, tipsters were right. Kitty, wherever you were, probably really, really far away. Once again, let's sell the heart. They have an Archo leg. I'm gonna buy it. Um... Huh. Telescope, sure. Um, selling them some Lucy. 
or some glit by the components. Ooh, we're gonna bankrupt ourselves. I love it. I'll sell all the meals. And pain stopper, sure. I don't think anyone has any permanent pain, but you never know when you want one of those. Alright. That wipes us out. Wonder. I can't. Really? I can install it indoors? What's the point of a telescope if it's indoors? I'm confused. I can install it there. Alright, so Archo Leg, Pain Stopper. I don't think anyone's in permanent pain anymore. No one has any scratches or anything, which is kind of crazy. I've just like replaced all the body parts uh, that you would need to. So, Architect Leg, Lockhart. Let's get you your other leg, Arch, on the left. Psychic Soothe. They're making it easy for me. So, Mr. Lockhart's going to be super fast. Um, let's see, Lan. Let's give you a bionic part. Let's give you a right leg. I guess there's a limit to two artificial parts per person. So I'm trying not to exceed that limit. So Kitty and Lan can have some more parts, and then the rest of them are probably fed up with being prosthetic. So once this spine's done, um, Karth is going to become more machine than man. That is the goal. That was the goal all along. Lockhart, how fast are you now? 844. Oh my god, he's almost twice the speed, and he's not even a jogger. Imagine if he was a jogger. That would be obscene. And lands a little bit faster now. Alright, so we're making my bionic spine. Our steel has slowly gone up. We have a whole lot of it out here now. We're going to need like a, a crazy abundance for ships. I mean, anyone that's ever built a ship knows that. A warg. That's not even like... That's a pretty serious uh, madness there. Luckily, I have plenty of capability to shred this thing. Alright. <clears throat> Show's over, guys. That was as dangerous as Warg's ever going to be. So, what kind of need is telescope? It is telescope study. It's something different. That's pretty cool. It's good that I bought it. Alright, so here is Les Spine. Oh, nope, not yet. Arthur, where'd you go? Okay. There is the spine, and now operations. Install left eye, install spine, install stomach, install ear, install ear. We're going to do this all with regular quality meds, and we're going to do it right now. beautiful in a way. Unbelievable waste of manpower, but kind of beautiful. Actually, there's a really nice flat spot here for the ship, too. Uh, if I would to wall this up. Now that I look at it. Yep. T 
is going to do it. Oops, didn't mean to click there. Alright, so some... Most of that is done. What's the negative of a paint stopper? He's already tough. Let's put a pain stopper in him too. Right? Why not? Oops, not? Don't strip him. That's not what I meant to do. That man's a machine. Actually, I have a lot of do I have a lot of slate. Yeah, I still have a lot of slate. I don't know the footprint, but that seems fine. And we'll give it a little auto door, make it a little faster. All right, Kartha, you are a robot. How do you feel about this? Uh, machine body is complete. I asked for this. Up to ten. It really is complete. Manhunter pack of cobras. Alright, so here's the fun part. I'm going to... Let's see how unbelievably good Kartha can be at slaughtering these things. And plug these in. Time to get out of dodge. Damn, these little assholes are breaking the turrets. Hearts around. Whoops. Good luck chasing them, boys. A wee bit faster than you. So I've learned my lesson with these, um, Kill box. Who's left? Okay, there's a few left over there. They did make a mess of this over here. done there. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just to reinstall these here rather than to waste more resources. Lockhart overjoyed. So I need like another part in him to make him done. Oh, was there? A... There was another Cobra somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's not manhunted anymore. But it's dead. I keep forgetting to reinstall this over here. So now we're just going to crank out a 
lot of advanced components. Because the ship will require it. Until I have tethered clothing, I'm not tattered clothing. Tethered? I don't know what I'm even saying. I'm not even going to worry about that. Ship, 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 ship. Structural beam. Let's see. Sensor cluster. Core. Cryo caskets will be off of that. I guess I won't even bother queuing this up until I have uh, a better idea of... I haven't actually seen the way ships are set up anymore. Um, obviously they're a different footprint than I have last built the ship. That's true for everyone, so... Um, yeah, I'm gonna wait until I know how big the engines are, etc, etc. But I'm eager! Cranking away on these components. Alright, cool. Not too serious. Might want to put those back in the grid. Oh, some more components for free. So this kind of ruins the kill, kill box, but I'm in a swamp. You know, buildable territory is at a premium, so had to do what I had to do. God, watching him work on anything is miserable. Oh, there's a ship part down here too? Did that come down at the same time? This has got to be really old. I had just queued up and long forgotten or something. Turn on the deep drill again. Probably need to scout for more plasteel as well. Alright, so I got the drive. Now all I need to do is... And I'll have Maker do it. Use the Persona. Boom. We now have all research. So I can break this down. Turn this off. Break that down. God, I was on a boring chair the whole time. I didn't even know. And Maker here. Um, I don't know what you're going to do anymore. I guess you're going to construct. I could make another fab table, but... I don't know. The expense of building another table might not even offset what I need to do. Um, so components, Kartha only. So I guess what I could do is um, I could use slag with any worker and then maybe maker melts slag. And I'll leave my legacy by removing all other buildings on the map. Why am I doing this? I don't know. It's something to do. Can you blame me at this point? I don't think you can. Alright. How close are you? Oh, you're pretty... You're going to be up in a second. Cool. Alright, let's check this bulk goods out. Buy some more components. Maybe some advanced components. Who knows what we need? 
Uh, we have a lot of meat, so here, have some. Regular components? A lot of them. Sweet. Awesome. All right, random skins that we don't have too much of, we can always get rid of. Even the thrombo. Sorry, thrombo. Buy the steel. Good pants. Get rid of the stuff that's tattered or low quality. Um, which includes toques. Wow, we are getting low on toques. Took, took, took. I thought I already sold that bedroll. Maybe that was part of the rollback, and I had thought I did, and then I didn't. Uh, do they have any wool? They don't. Um, hmm. I don't really foresee using the turret and turret mean, so I'm going to sell it. I don't really see the need to make drugs or anything. We have plenty, you know? Alright, let's haul those components first. Alright, so the footprint of this is done. We just need to wall it up now. It's not a complete... You know what? The OCD part of my brain is going to be like, why? Why did you ever leave off a little corner? Because it's bridged. Obviously, I can't put ship parts there, but I might as well just have it be a nice rectangle. It truly doesn't make that big of a difference. I'm pretty... Oh, wow. We ran out of component storage. I was like, I'm pretty sure I queued up to haul that. Oh, now you're just hauling two at a time. You're just insulting me. So what is Maker working on? He's working. I'm not always certain what he's doing, but he's working. They're, uh... They're breaking down this stuff. So what I was going to do here is... Let's just deconstruct all of that. Remove the floors. So that we can be the only construction here. We're the only... Oh, there's mining to be done. There was also this hidden mining stuff, right? There is... Where was it? There it is. So many pawns working on so many pointless things. It looks like the kill box is done, which is pretty swell. Um, obviously, we're going to need some more blocks. So I'm going to do slate blocks forever. Make this with maker. Um... <laughs> the amount of changes to his body are so funny. Who cares about a heater? I don't. Alright, so if you're cranking out blocks, I want you to drop them on the floor. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. There's like so much happening all at once. So, Maker. Let's have you craft first, then construct. You're a much better crafter.
and we're removing some slate stuff down here. Um, bear with me while I right click a crap ton. Want to do this in one trip? I think I accidentally had her cut down a tree too. Nope. Looks good. Once this is walled off, I'll feel a little bit more secure that it won't be raided. Ships are expensive. You do not want to lose ships for any reason ever, in my opinion. If you lose them, you suffer huge consequences. Alright, so flooring. Remove floors. Oops, uh, what did I do? Mine. We do want some mining, but we want it where it is. Deconstruct, sure. There's a lot of, like, random buildings around here, I just realized. Um, I think initially, in the early ages of uh, RimWorld, it was cool to have, like, the sort of flavor of, like, these abandoned buildings. But at this point... Um, Unless your buildings are more meaningful, like they have stuff in them or whatever, like ancient dangers, I don't really see the need. And maybe that's just me being a cynic, but that's how I feel. All these random buildings, they don't really represent, given the, given the, the, how sparsely populated the globe is, um, having all these random buildings like everywhere kind of doesn't fit into the lore of RimWorld. I could be wrong. That's just me rambling, but uh, you can let me let me know what you think at the uh, in the comments here. Do you want teeny scattered random huts of stone everywhere? Or not? Because I think if you did it out of wood and then you had the buildings decay naturally or something, I don't know. I'm just spouting, spouting nonsense now. All right, so this is all walled up, right? So let's see the engine. The ship core. So let's put the ship, the sensor cluster in the front. Then two beams. Or maybe put the ship computer in the middle. A beam. And then I think we're going to need two engines. We'll need more than one. I know that much. So I'll start with this. I'll start with just the front. And guess what? We don't want a roof. So all that work you just put in, undo it. He's sick, so he went on a food binge. Usually when I'm sick, I don't like to chug food, but... What do I know? All right, so all the, all this abundance of advanced components is really um, going to come in handy in the ship construction. Kind of got our head of the curve. Uh, I think we have enough slate blocks now, so this will be the last one. I queue up, done. Acres now slagging. We could honestly uh, make her and who would lucky could start hauling. It's um, tempered enough for maker to haul because we have a lot of steel out in the wild there that we could go reclaim. Oh, this trail is slowing everyone down, isn't it? Oh well. Uh, I can reinstall this drill here, I think. Where is Wally? If you're way out here, go haul steel. All right, Kalian is moving the drill. Yep, and that's a perfect spot for it. 
can even leave this open. Doing a whole lot of truly pointless tasks here. You know what it is? It's just me trying to lengthen this this series because I had so much fun with this. I'm sad to see it go, but I've set goals for myself. You know, um, my goals were to uh, to become a bionic space marine and then blast off into space. And that's pretty much what I intend to do. Cluster is done. Well, almost. Come on. Don't leave it hanging. Alright, another thing I should probably do is own it, right? And then maybe unown this area. I hadn't thought about that in a little while. Alright, so we need three engines. So now we know. So ship, 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 ship. Uh, if we need three engines. I don't even know. I don't even know. Maybe two wings? It's not, see, the, the OCD part of me is like, it's not symmetrical! You know? It's like, ugh. Ugh. Um. Yeah, Tynan, why'd you do this to us? All right, we'll just we'll just. Oh right, because that's. We'll just do it like this. It's hideous, but. Okay, and we'll build it from the uh, front to back. So this next structural beam will allow us to uh, to plop down our our caskets, sleepy sleepy caskets. And I think what I'll do is. It's too crazy to be queuing stuff up like that. Doesn't make doesn't make sense. The steel makes sense, but the rest of it not so much. Man, there was a lot of steel on this map. Like a lifetime supply. You could you, honestly you could have built almost your entire buildings out of steel and you would have still had leftovers. That's canceled a lot of the random junk. So it's only one advanced component for the beam. Let's see, advanced components, eight, eight, eight. So 24, I think we have enough advanced components for everything. Which means... Nope. Almost. Let's do a real count. So 8, 8, 16, 24, 25, 26, um, 32-ish more. And then we're going to need caskets, which is four each. So there's going to be a... Yeah, yeah. We're still need some more. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pawns. So I'm gonna do the caskets last. Maybe build two of them. Just in case anything horrible happens. And we need to hospitalize someone or whatever. I don't know. They're all gonna need to be built eventually. So 32 times 9 times 4, 36. So we need like 72 components-ish, somewhere in the 70s. Doing a really, really quick rough math. Silly battery. Oh, 
Honestly, we'll just reinstall you here. There we go. We actually have backup batteries now. Okay, so we already have a casket up and running. The other one just needs some work done. Here we need gold, which we have plenty of. Plasteel. So we're going to need some plasteel. Um, I think there's enough steel on the map. I'm going to put this deep drill back where we know there's some plasteel. Um, we might need more plasteel nodes than that, but that should be enough, honestly. And then uranium, we have enough of, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure and certain we have enough uranium. Okay, what are you working on now? Oh, a heat wave. Do we need more cowboy hats? You know what? Uh, take a pause and make some cowboy hats out of anything but cloth. Just in case. Maker, would you be so kind? Everyone's in dusters, uh, so we need a tailor, right? So this just needs the core. Kitty just delivered it. Perfect. Next piece. Because most of them, yeah, they're they're. I'm well over my hour. I just realized. Um, a high core offer. Nope. I don't need a core from you. It's interesting that they prompted it, um, given that uh, obviously I've been working on it. And I feel like the AI was like, oh, you're working on a ship. Maybe you need a core. Because I have zero cores now that I've put it into the computer core. Um... But yeah, all right, that will be the end of my episode. Thank you all for watching and tuning in. Uh, I hope to catch you in next episode. And um, if you have any feedback for me, drop me a line. Adios, everyone.